So reading the MetaZoo comments on Rudy's video is hilarious. On the new video, MetaZoo shuts down, destroys entire market. I, for one, am not at all shocked or even amused. This was always the end game. I mean, I don't really know why he's acting Pikachu surprise face when he's the one who has been promoting this for so long. He should know a little bit about what he's promoting, I, I would hope, right? Like, if anyone would know, it would be a guy touting it as investment opportunities. And just in case he says that he never said it was investable, here's the email proof. These are emails direct from him to the Patreons from a Patreon. So, yeah, I mean, he can say what he wants to say. But at the end of the day, there is evidence, there is proof. And let's be quite honest about this. I think at the end of the day that this was a pump and dump. None of what they did makes me think otherwise. I think Alpha Investment knew it was a pump and dump and he wanted to get in on that sweet gravy train. And it truly was a sweet gravy train. I mean, let's let's be honest here. Um, let's be honest with ourselves. Um, this thing was a nightmare. This thing was a nightmare. You're talking even even the most recent set with the Hello Kitty IP, which everyone you know loves, right? And and it is you no, know, without a doubt, the Hello Kitty IP is a huge IP. It's, we're not talking about uh, a small thing here. We're talking about a huge IP. They had to cut everything by half, and the MetaZoo community was talking about negativity, positivity. Like, why don't we just talk about money? When eBay has to cut a product's value by half before they actually had pre-orders, they could have easily took the $300 and, and just delivered and then cut it by half. But they felt so bad that it was such a toxic thing to their reputation that you know what they did? They actually just refunded everybody. It was like, okay, everyone gets a refund. And then the MetaZoo people are acting like this is amazing because they can buy more of it. That was a clear sign that something was very, very wrong. The other clear sign obviously was uh, not being able to pay the players. You hold a tournament. People win. People go to the tournament. They win the tournament. You, you don't pay them? Like, like what are we talking about here? Like, I, I don't... I don't even know how that's a possibility. You know, I've never been to a magic tournament like this. This is something specifically unique to MetaZoo. And now MetaZoo, uh, they have a roadmap. They have, you know, the one thing that you have to give Alpha Investment is he's able to kind of scrub his hands from this. Um, he's able to say, oh, I never, no one thought it was investable. He obviously knew the writing was on the wall. And even if you just listen to him, you're going to come to the same conclusion that most people come to is, hey, you know, there is a lot of red flags here. Should I be investing in MetaZoo? Should I keep buying MetaZoo? Or is there just too many red flags? And the answer, of course, is there are a lot, a lot of red flags. This was among the worst financial advice you could ever give somebody. Um... Point blank, I, I cannot imagine financial advice that is worse than this particular advice. I think um, it's very bad. It is, um, you know, the positivity. You, you know, I know the game is dead as soon as I make the videos and the people get very upset about it because they know I'm talking the truth, right? And the truth is the game was never meant to last longer than the pump and the dump. It lasted just long enough for people to pump it and dump it. And if you are one of the people who got dumped, instead of getting angry at me, which you probably are, oh, you're, you know, hey, you're the reason. No, I'm not the reason. I don't own any MetaZoo cards, guys. I have no impact on the market at all. 
So how can I be the reason MetaZoo failed? And, you know, you look at how much money was pumped into it. You look at how much money... You, I, I look at all this stuff and I just say, you know what? This was brilliant, brilliant from the stance that, like, no one really understood what was going on. They were buying pallets. They were buying $8,200 of a product that, yikes, man. I mean, it's just, how is this even a real product? You know, how is this real? Um, I mean, look at the artwork. Look at the, the cards, the, the IP that, that they value. And there are still people today that probably believe a video game is going to be made sometime. No, I, I'm dead serious. Uh, an anime. They're going to have a Pokemon video game and a Pokemon anime. And they never even came close to having anything remotely, uh, remotely, <laughs> remotely similar to what they said. They always promised. And they did this to the very end. They oh, promised a roadmap. And they didn't do anything. So obviously the roadmap is dead, right? They're not going to promise a roadmap. I think uh, in terms of what is happening right now is a lot of people did put money in MetaZoo. A lot of people wanted MetaZoo to be successful. A lot of people wanted it to go to the moon. A lot of people, you know, what they wanted, what they actually wanted from the very get-go was for this to be Pokemon. And they could get on the ground floor of Pokemon. That's what, honest to God, that's all they wanted. They wanted to get on the ground floor of Pokemon. But that was never going to happen. And the reason it was never going to happen was this was not Pokemon. And we are in 2024. We're in 2021 or something. And any type of investment opportunity is going to be snatched up. No one was looking at Pokemon as investment opportunity. That's why these packs are rare. That's why sealed boxes are rare. That's why sealed cases are non-existent right, in Pokemon. Even Logan Paul, $3 million, can't buy one. They're not out there. You know, unless they're fake. They're just not out there. And I can explain to you why. Because people didn't view them as an investment. So MetaZoo, from the very get-go, Alpha Investments, Alpha Investments 69, he viewed it as an opportunity to pump and dump. He viewed it as an opportunity to sell you an investment. An investment. There's no doubt in my mind that if you read these emails, it's an investment. It's a investment opportunity. And you, the lemming, were more than happy to take it. I mean, you're paying $15 a month. Might as well pay a little bit more. $8,200. What's $8,200, right? What's another $700 for a mystery box? I'm sure the mystery box won't have that much meta zero, right? They got play mats and every promo card is a MetaZoo promo card, right? I mean, isn't that the chase? The chase is the uh, the redemption and the promo card, which is MetaZoo of Rudy Chan. In a game where he's got like, what, eight, nine copies of himself and the very last card ever produced is his artwork? How can you not say that it was his failure? It is his failure. You know, the game, instead of producing good content or promotions i mean it just had nothing it had nothing that it should have had it should have had a player base i mean everything flesh and blood and the reason the flesh and blood doesn't want to deal with rudy right now is what every card game needs it needs players it needs players and if it only has investors because it's been pumped this way this is the outcome of every single game not just meta zoo but every game rudy promotes